for this video, I'm setting out a challenge for myself to become more present. So yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go over the few things that I do day to day. And from this video onwards, I'm gonna do even more. Well, not even more, I'm gonna do even with more intention because yeah, I wanna bring myself back to the present more. The last couple of weeks, I felt my mind going a bit into the future, a bit into the past. I haven't really been as experienced in the present moment as much as I'd like to. And you wanna be in the present moment, right? Like when you're having a conversation with someone, you wanna be there, you don't wanna be thinking about something else or worrying about what you're gonna say next. You just wanna be present and feeling human connection, you know? So yeah, let's do this. How to become more present. What are these ways to become more present? Number one is meditation. I'm currently doing a cycle of something called Isha Kriya. It's a form of meditation where on the inhale, you hold a thought which is I'm not the body and on the exhale, it's I'm not the mind. You can either do a 48 day cycle where you do twice a day or a 90 day cycle where you do once a day. If you just sit there for about 20 minutes, just letting your mind wander, you're training your brain to just let your mind wander. So it's even harder to become more present. But when you're sat there and your mind wanders, because it naturally will, you're gonna have random thoughts come into your head, but you keep bringing your focus back onto those two thoughts. Every time you bring it back, every time you come back from those wonders and you come back to those two thoughts, you're training that muscle. Like, And it, it does work. You'll be into meditation and you'll be about 10 seconds in, you'll be like, okay, I'm focused on the present moment. This is actually, yeah, pretty easy. And then bang, randomly you'll think about something else. Not bang, it's not actually that, it's not an intense process. It's actually quite subtle. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you randomly start thinking about something else and you have to keep bringing your mind back to the present moment. And every single time you bring your mind back to the present moment, you strengthen that muscle that does that. And that's what you want because when you're in the present moment, your mind starts to wander. You want to be able to just bring back, come back to the present moment and be doing whatever you're doing. So yeah, this, this will definitely set your day up for being more present or not so, as the case may be, if you don't do it correctly. If I do it correctly and really focus and have a great meditation, I find the rest of the day, or at least the following five, six hours, I'll be a lot more present and I'll be enjoying my day a lot more. Whereas if I let my mind wander for the meditation, then yeah, it's literally been pointless and actually probably had a negative effect on the day because I won't be more present. My mind will be wandering even more and I don't want that. Okay, I don't want that. So moving on to the next thing that helps you become more present, and this is a massive one as well. I've never been really great at this, to be honest, but when I'm good at it, for a few days I'm good at it, everything about my life's better, my whole day is better, I'm, I'm more present and my mind's less foggy, and that is getting good sleep. And that sounds so obvious, but trust me, getting good quality sleep is, I don't even have to tell you that, you guys know that. You're all similar to my age, I, I guess, or maybe older. Hi, if you're older, you're right. I'm sure you guys have had a bad sleep and the, the next day you've been completely foggy and you haven't been able to concentrate and that's what I mean by being present. Being able to focus and concentrate on things you want to focus on is being present. And you know what, if I have a bad sleep and I try to do the meditation in the morning, that is a challenge. Like I'm trying to bring my focus back to the present moment. My mind just wants to just go wandering all the time. Trying to bring it back to the present moment is really difficult. It's not easy at all. Yeah, getting good sleep is massive. It's all about disciplined sleep really, isn't it? There's been times where you've been like, oh, you know what, today I'm just gonna stay up until one, two o'clock in the morning. And the next day you're like, what the hell was I doing? That's definitely something that I'm going to do from today onwards, making sure I'm routinely going to, mainly waking up, make sure I'm routinely waking up at the same time. And if I'm staying disciplined with that, I don't want to have a late night. I want to get to bed early and have the seven, eight hours I need to be able to focus the next day and then do what I've got to do, you know? So yeah, sleep is massive for being present. More sleep, less foggy your mind is, and easier it is to just be more present and be focused on whatever you want to do. This is the last one, this is the final one that I want to talk about and it might even be the most important one. Obviously, the only way you're going to become more present is if you want to become more present. The only way that you're going to want to become more present is if you have these things in your schedule that you want to be present for. Have you ever noticed that after a victory or after something you've achieved and let's say you go out for a meal with your friends, you're completely present, you're there with your friends, you're having a good time, you're laughing at what they're saying, you're having a great conversation with them. You want to be present, you've allowed yourself to be present. You wanna have the complete full experience of whatever you're doing. So I'm gonna meditate in the morning. I'm gonna make sure I get good sleep the day before so I can be present in the moment for whatever I'm doing. So I've got a job interview in the morning. The day before, you're gonna want a really good sleep because you don't wanna be that, you don't have fogginess in your mind the next day. You wanna be completely in the moment. Yeah, so have to include things in your day that make you want to be present and then you'll start doing these things naturally because you want to be present, so you'll do the things that allow you to be present. But yeah, guys, those are a few things that, um, yeah, that I think you guys should give a try, and those are a few things that you, Jack, I'm telling you now, I'm speaking to myself, should give more intention and give more, um, give more focus to. And hopefully, well, no, yeah, hopefully, I guess it is an experiment. Um, we'll see if I become more present. I'm, I'm certain if I do these things properly, I will become more present, and I'm sure you guys will too, so give these things a go. 
So next time you're feeling like your mind's wandering a bit, try to bring your focus back to the present moment and keep strengthening that muscle and you'll find yourself having more and more control of your thoughts and find yourself more in tune with yourself because you're not letting these external things and you're not letting these external thoughts change your ex current experience. You realise their thoughts and then you bring it back to the present moment and you're still exactly where you're meant to be. I hope you guys can take something from this and yeah, give it a go. Yeah, why not? Give it a go. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.